Hello, Jeff at M60 RV, and we're going to do something a little different. We've got a new unit in. I haven't been inside it, so we're going to do a blind reaction like all the cool kids on YouTube do. So have a look at this unit. This is a 2024 No Boundaries RV Suite RVS1. So let's just go have a look at it, all right? I'm already extended, so let's let's have a look at the roof. I may have to type what's up there because I'm a short guy. And this is, of course, all new to me. All right, so first of all, one of the most, the thing that strikes, that uh, jumps out at you at first is you have this, this porch back here with an overhang that's a permanent over overhang. <clears throat> it's just a really striking uh, unit. It really has, it has a unique color, kind of uh, look really good out in the, the wilderness. And you have this porch made from really durable steel. Of course, it's roadworthy. It does have a little hitch back here, so you can tow something else behind it. You see it does have sliding glass doors for an entry. And uh, check out these stabilizers. They are twice as big as a regular stabilizer. That's very interesting. And again, this is the first time I've ever seen one of these. Well, I saw, I glanced at one at an RV show. <clears throat> Notice it's got this suspension here. It does have axles. I'll have to read up more on that. It does not have the beast mode. It's a no boundaries and no beast mode. Another interesting fact. It's going to make it less expensive, of course. You do have the uh, frameless windows. It looks like they pitch out uh, in the middle. So you can have them open when it's raining. This just has that wilderness adventure feel, doesn't it? Here's your dump station low point drains and looks like it's all enclosed underbelly which really helps for uh, weather conditions keeping things from freezing up <clears throat> here's your power connection everything's labeled here galley tank galley tank wastewater holding tank sewer outlet connection got a water heater here Hey, Ivan. Good morning, Jeffrey. You know what the the idea of this is? Transportation. Just for, but it's it, it's permanent. It. This is nice, so it goes with the customer, right? Right on. Interesting. Uh, the roof is pitched to the driver's side for runoff. And you have this steel box up here. And this doesn't lock. But I would imagine it would be good to keep your food in, in bear country. They're not getting in that. And that's where your battery goes. Again, blind. I'm going in blind here. You do have a holster for your power cord. This is a cool thing. Because, like, say you're at a uh, park, you're camped at a campground, and... The intern comes around and he starts zipping the grass. You don't want you don't want this to get caught in the the mower. Dogs to chew on it, etc. So they got this nice safe place to put it. There's your breakaway cable, your safety chains, two and five sixteenth inch ball. You do have a power tongue jack. I have to bring my battery out. I have to take this cover off. This, look at this. That would really be helpful. I don't know what's behind there. Again, blind. On this side, we have a power awning. RV Suite. Here's the logo. Looks like a merit badge. This is a handrail.
Here's a pin. Pull the pin. Sometimes when you pull the pin, bad things happen, but let's see. Patent pending. Well, oh, look at that. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, real reaction. <clears throat> it's like you can tighten it up. Very cool. Of course, now because how I'm set up, I have to duck. So let me put the pin here. All right. Okay, again, around this side, some more frameless windows. And here's an entry, an entrance onto your little porch, your potentially bear-proof porch. <laughs> and I heard tell of a camp grill somewhere, so we'll have to find that. But as you can see, it's got only sliding glass door entry. Which, so that's very interesting. So that means... I couldn't use my master keys. I had to you get the actual keys to the unit. So here's the keys. Oh, I picked the right one the first time. Well, let's go in the back. pushes in okay so that enters in and look at this check out this view master or mistress of all you survey ah there we are Okay, Ooh. all right, so here's the rear. So you've got one of those high efficiency air conditioners. Very interesting. Curtain, got a curtain to go across there if you don't wish to be observed. Yeah, good nice deep hang closets here. I don't know what this is. It is a block of wood. Oh, I see. This is the bed. <laughs> okay. So, you got your simulated live edge table that comes out. You got a couple of cool chairs, screen doors that can be installed. I think on the front. This is your camp kitchen. Rugged hitch mounted two burner grill. We'll have to get that out. This just came yesterday, folks. Brand new, don't even know the price yet. Ooh, Klipsch. German engineering. Bluetooth speaker. Looks like a uh, vintage guitar amp. And then that's the bed, but I have to move all this stuff before I can put it down. This is the legs for the bed. Okay. Again, this is a first reaction. It's like you walking in here. Oh, that is cool. It's like a fainting couch. That's so cool. This is the other door, of course. Here's your TV. Power Pro Voice. Activated RV control system. Oh my gosh. I wonder if we can use it without goofing it up for the first user. Oh my word, look at this. Look at this vintage looking fridge. That is so cool. Contour classic. Nifty. Three drawers in the bottom. Got an oven. Oh, this is a convection microwave. All right. Convection microwave 
an induction cooktop. I don't think we have anything else with an induction cooktop currently. I love this steampunk looking faucet. You got this cool, see it's got this, uh, this is solid wood. That's solid wood. I used to build pianos. I know these things. Uh, this is actual, I don't think it's quite live edge, but it's supposed to look like that because it's not straight. So it looks rustic, you know. And they have the windows in framed in this valance. So I'm thinking, ah, uh, that might still have a rubber band, rubber band on it from the factory. All right, so this this is how this pushes out right here. Just a real sleek looking uh, cabinetry setup. On uh, LED strips for lights. That's innovative. My word. This will be fun to set up. Looks like some pillows for your fainting couch. It's probably not called that. Electric fireplace. Some storage here with this sound dampening. That would sound dampen. But that's wood. All right, and into the bathroom. Gigantic closet. My word, look at that. You got some kind of Western scene on this. They didn't have to do that. Look at that. That's cool. And a combo washer dryer. Already hooked up. Double bowl sink. Let's see this, it's still winterized. Oh, they got more of that Western scene here in the bathroom. All right, and here's your commode. You got a little standalone heater, it looks like. Oh, okay, so this is your front window. So that cover on the front covers your front window and, and your, your front because it is flat. So that will help protect it. Some cubbies here. You have a fantastic fan. Uh, that's one, two fantastic fans. Is the third one? Nope. Two fantastic fans, which you can open your windows a little bit, get a br nice breeze coming in. And shower. Oh, look at this shower. So that's wood. Looks like you have a shower that comes here, your main one. You have a handset. Oh, another one. They're spoiling us with this. Look at this. Your LED light strip goes into the shower. You still have your, your uh, skylight. And you have this cool... I think this is one piece, so they probably purchased this like that. Furion Chill. I don't know what that is. Oh, cords. Right, here's your sink cover. So we'll have to put those away. All right, so anyway, first look. Just came in. Still have to kind of, you know, to open everything up and deploy everything out. And I will have to do that bed. So stay tuned. We'll do a, a fuller walkthrough. Um, after we checked it in, took pictures, etc. All right, Jeff at M60RV, thanks again for watching my blind first reaction to the 2024 Forest River No Boundaries RV Suite RVS1. Just in yesterday, M60RV 269-707-9220. Or you can email us at sales at m60rv.com. Thanks for watching.